I know you'll all have heard of the major vessel types of the worldwide shipping fleet, your container ships, tankers, cruise ships, things like that. Most of you will probably even know about some of the slightly more specialised ships like gas carriers and car transporters, but what about the really specialised vessels? Cable layers, diamond miners, or the topic of today's video, trailing suction hopper dredgers, or TSHDs for short. They're a fascinating sort of ship that gives you a self-contained dredging system capable of operating completely independently. TSHDs are basically made up of a hull with an accommodation block and a bridge. Inside, there are a series of hoppers to hold the cargo. Of course, the larger the vessel, the more hoppers you will find. On the outside, you'll have a series of cranes along the deck, all supporting the distinctive trailing suction arms. Then bolted on top, a series of pipes and machinery, all designed to assist in the discharging of cargo. For manoeuvrability, you'll find them incredibly well equipped, maybe azipods or twin screws at the stern, and at least one bow thruster up forward. Basically, they need to be able to position themselves accurately. The better they are at manoeuvrability, the more versatile they are in their area of operation. In terms of capability, they're designed to dredge soft materials that can be sucked up their dredging arms, mainly sand, but sometimes mud and things like that too. When they get to a dredge site, they'll slow down and lower their dredging arm to the seabed. The end of the arm is fitted with a suction head, a bit like a vacuum cleaner. Might even have additional water jets fitted to agitate the seabed and dredge tougher materials. The entire vessel then steams forward slowly, trailing its suction arm, sucking up the seabed as it goes. Adjusting the speed changes the density of the dredge material. Move slowly and fairly obviously you're going to suck hard in one place. Move quicker and you'll skim off less from the surface instead. Regardless, once the dredge material, or sand in our example, enters the suction arm, it moves up the pipe and finds its way into the hoppers. Very quickly, the hoppers fill up with a mix of sand and water. As it settles, the denser sand falls to the bottom and the water remains on top. It's then quite easy to discharge the excess water and continue dredging, getting a sandier mix all the time. Eventually, the hoppers will be filled with a, a lot of soggy sand and the ship will be ready to move on to its discharge site. Now, one of the beauties of trailing suction hopper dredgers is their versatility when it comes to discharging. The most common way is to simply open up doors at the bottom of the hoppers and dump materials straight onto the seabed. Otherwise, you can use the pipework fitted to the ship itself. In the bottom of the hoppers are water jets that can liquefy the sand again so that it can move through the pipes. It then travels through the ship to the bow, where a nozzle can shoot it into the air in a process called rainbowing. It's ideal for land reclamation projects where the dredger can get within range of its discharge site. Otherwise, you can connect an external floating pipe to the outlet at the bow and just pump the material wherever it needs to go. If you want it to be even more precise, you can pump it back down the suction arms and deposit it in an accurate line on the seabed. Very useful for backfilling a trench or covering an undersea pipeline or something like that. Of course, if you need the material deposited on a quayside, you can't liquefy it as it would just wash away. Instead, some smaller TSHDs are fitted with a bucket system that drags the cargo onto a conveyor belt so that it can be deposited as a pile ashore. It's ideal if you're dredging for raw materials for building projects and stuff like that. It's a lot slower to discharge dry, of course, and that's why it's only usually smaller TSHDs that do it. The larger vessels just stick to liquefaction methods instead. So, where are trailing suction hopper dredgers used? Well, anywhere that you need soft material moving from the seabed to somewhere else. For example, one use is to maintain the depths of water in navigational channels. Over time, channels silt up with sand or mud, making the water shallower and stopping big ships from getting through. A TSHD could be brought in to dredge the channel and then discharge the material out at sea in a spoil ground. Another example that we briefly touched on is for harvesting raw materials. In areas with high quality sand, a TSHD can go and collect it and then pile it up on the quayside to be sold on for use in construction. If it's huge volumes you need, then you use larger TSHDs to pump massive quantities ashore using liquefaction. I'm talking here about things like land reclamation and coastal protection projects. As you can see, trailing suction hopper dredgers are an incredibly versatile and interesting type of ship. Are there any other types of ships you'd like me to look into? Let me know in the comments down below as I've had great fun making this video. As always, I'd just like to end the video by thanking our Plus supporters on Patreon. Your continued support helps to keep these videos free to view across social media, so thank you.